we're going to be looking at the conversions between capacity and volume and we're going to do that by looking at this nicely laid out structure of conversions so if we briefly briefly go through this um, at the very bottom we have centimeters cubed so that's my volume portion of this conversion once I have it in centimeters cubed I know that that will be exactly one milliliter as well okay so these conversions are very simple down here now the top half of this or the top most part of this is looking at the conversion between the different units in capacity so between milliliters, liters, kiloliters and also megaliters and we can see that they are all intertwined by um, a scale of 1000 so for example if I want to go from kiloliters down to liters I'm just going to multiply that number by a thousand okay it'll be a thousand liters so that's the basis of the conversions that we're going to be looking at now okay so we'll try and answer some questions so looking at the first one we're going to convert 6,000 centimeters cubed to liters so the first thing that I want to note is one centimeter cubed will give me one, lit uh, one milliliter okay so we can see that from here so one centimeter cubed is one milliliter okay then I'm going to multiply both sides by 6,000 because that's what I want okay so I have in milliliters okay and I want to go to liters so what to do is I'm going to go from milliliters up to, uh, up to liters Okay, in which case I'm going to divide by a thousand. So it will be um, six liters. Okay, so it was a nice easy conversion to start things off. So let's move on to question number two. We're going to convert 2.8 meters cubed to liters. So one of the, uh, I'm going to start this question off by saying that one meter cubed will give me one kiloliter. So hopefully we recall how to do that. And from kiloliter, Okay, what I'm going to do next is multiply by 2.8 on each side because that's what I want. And from kiloliter, I want to go down to liters. So I have kiloliters right now and I'm going to go down to liters. Okay, to do that, I'm going to multiply by 1,000 on both on the units on here. Okay, that will give me 2,800 liters. Okay, so that was the conversion for this question here. Now looking at question number three, we're going to convert 4,600 millimeters uh, cubed two milliliters. So what I want to do first is instead of trying to work with millimeters cubed, I'm going to note that I can change that. I'm going to divide by both sides by a thousand. Okay, I'm going to divide these units by a thousand to get centimeters cubed. Okay, so this, in other words, will have uh, 4.6 centimeters cubed, which is really handy because we can from here just use this little conversion that we have. Okay, so I'm going to look at centimeters cubed and it's going to go up to milliliters. Okay, so this will just be simply 4.6 milliliters. Okay, so that was question number three. Now, if we take a look at number four, we're going to convert 4.2 meters cubed to milliliters. And the first thing I'm going to note here is one uh, meter cubed is one kiloliter. Okay, and to go from there, I'm going to multiply again by 5.2 by both sides. Now, so I've got this part. I want it in milliliters, but I have it in kiloliters right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from kiloliters down to liters okay to do so multiply by a thousand now from liters we still want milliliters then I'm going to go down to milliliters like this again so multiply by another by another thousand okay so when I convert 5.2 meters cubed to milliliters it will be uh, 5 million two hundred thousand uh, milliliters okay so that was a that was nice conversions from capacity and also specifically volume as well